you will not find this in the lecture notes. This is not part of really the, the course or the module, but in case you are interested, I just left a few pictures that I sometimes take whenever I go on observing runs so that you have an idea how it is to be inside and around some of the largest telescopes in the world. In this case, these are all pictures from the Subaru telescope in Hawaii. Subaru actually has the largest single mirror that's an 8.2 meter. You can actually see me here uh, compared to the Subaru mirror in blue above. And there's really fun things or fun weird things like elevators inside the telescope having survival kits, including something for you to sleep. Uh, there's some food and even a mini toilet. But of course, inside the actual control room, they will look mostly like this. This is one of the sides. There's lots of essentially computer consoles where you control the telescope and the instrument. In one of these runs, the largest optical camera was still on display before going to the top of the telescope. This is Iper Prime camera. And I'll show you how some of the CCDs or the detectors, how they look inside the instrument. There's more than a hundred of them. It's really impressive. And outside the views can actually vary from just this volcanic scenario where it's incredibly dry or sometimes in the winter it does snow and it looks much more like this. Much closer to the UK, one of the best sites is Kenny Islands, that's La Palma Island. And this is home to the largest telescope in the world. This is the largest telescope in the world. That's a 10.4 meter. And this is owned by Spain, even though other countries also use it and collaborate with those that operate it. Unfortunately, this year, just as last year, it will not be possible to provide the opportunity for you to go observing because of the obvious pandemic conditions. But fortunately, I was able to take some of your colleagues over the last few years where we did a lot of recording of movies and photos like the one I took that is now the cover of the physics prospectus. One thing that you can now really check out are some of the YouTube videos where your colleagues actually tell you about how it is to go observe, how it is to experience these completely dark skies. And they will also give you a virtual tour to some of the iconic telescopes in La Palma. So I'd encourage you to go to xgal.uk slash observing, or you can also go directly to some of these YouTube videos. So your colleagues tell you how it is to go observing.